Sharks hosting the Bruins, and the Bruins are minus 250 on the money line. The Sharks are plus 205. The over-under is six and a half goals. The uh, Bruins laying a goal and a half are minus 105, while the Sharks getting a goal and a half are minus 115. The Bruins are on a two-game winning streak. The Sharks lost the last game that they played. Head-to-head, -head, the Bruins are on a nine-game winning streak against the Sharks. The Bruins are 9-1 and one against the Sharks in their last 10 meetings. The favorite is on a three-game winning streak. The favorite is 6-4 and four on the money line. However, the underdog getting a goal and a half is 6-4 and four in their last 10. There have been five one-goal games in their last 10 meetings, including one out of the last three games they played against each other. The under is 6-3-1 and one in their last 10. The under 6.5 specifically is 7-3 and three in their last 10. And the home team is 6-4 and four in their last 10 meetings. The Bruins are 24-14 and 14 against the spread. The over-under is 18-18 18 and 18 in the games in which they played in. And they are 11-4-0-1 on the road this year. They've been a little bit more beatable on the road, so to speak. But even still, they're excellent on the road. The Sharks are 20-20 and 20 against the spread. The over is 20-16, and 26-13 and 13 in the games in which they played. And they are 4-10-3-3 at home this year. The last game they played, the Bruins won 3-1 in San Jose. The game before that, the Bruins won 4-3 in Boston. The game before that, the Bruins won 5-1 in Boston. The game before that, the Bruins won 4-1 in Boston. The game before that, the Bruins won 6-5 in overtime in San Jose. The last time the Sharks beat the Bruins was on March 15th of 2016. They won 3-2 at home. I'm going to take Boston with the money line, Boston laying the goals, and I'm going over in this game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.